Ever wondered why Wellington is known as the Windy City of the South? Let's find out together. Nestled at the southern tip of New Zealand's North Island, Wellington, the capital city, is a place where the winds of the Cook Strait are as much a part of daily life as the stunning views of the harbor. Its unique location, sandwiched between a sparkling harbor and rolling green hills, contributes to regular gusts that sweep through the city, earning it the playful moniker, the Windy City of the South. But don't let the winds fool you, they are the lifeblood of this vibrant city, shaping its character, its people, and even its architecture. As they whip around the high-rises, they echo the city's dynamic spirit, a spirit that is as untamed as the winds themselves. Now that we've got a sense of Wellington's backdrop, let's dive into some of its most famous attractions. Known as the cultural capital of New Zealand, Wellington is a treasure trove of museums and galleries. Nestled within this city, you'll find a vast array of cultural institutions, each one more captivating than the last. Let's dive into this world of art, history, and knowledge. At the forefront of Wellington's cultural scene is Te Papa Tongarewa, the National Museum. This place is a beacon of culture, offering a deep dive into New Zealand's rich history and diverse natural environment. Te Papa Tongarewa is more than just a museum. It's a living testament to the nation's past, present, and future. Every exhibit is a story, every artifact a piece of the intricate mosaic that is New Zealand. Moving now to the City Gallery Wellington, where contemporary art takes center stage. This gallery is a vibrant cultural hub, showcasing a variety of artistic expressions from both local and international artists. It's a place where art comes to life, where creativity is celebrated, and where every visitor is invited to engage in meaningful dialogue with the artwork. But the cultural richness of Wellington doesn't end here. The city is also home to the Museum of Wellington City and Sea, where you can delve into the maritime history of the city and the New Zealand Portrait Gallery that hosts an extensive collection of portraits, each one telling a unique story of the people who have shaped the nation. There's also the Wellington Museum, a place where history, myth, and legend collide, and the Dow's Art Museum, where you can find a collection of contemporary art that pushes boundaries and challenges conventions. In Wellington, every museum, every gallery is a door to another world. A world filled with stories, with emotions, with experiences. A world that invites you to explore, to learn, to feel. From contemporary art to historical treasures, Wellington's cultural scene is diverse and vibrant. It's a city that celebrates its past, embraces its present, and looks forward to its future, all through the lens of culture. So, if you're a culture enthusiast, a history buff, or an art lover, Wellington is sure to captivate your senses and ignite your imagination. Beyond the cityscape, Wellington offers an abundance of natural beauty. The city is a haven for nature lovers, home to an array of lush gardens and parks that serve as gateways to New Zealand's diverse ecosystems. Let's start with the Wellington Botanic Garden. Nestled in the heart of the city, it's a sanctuary of tranquility that spans over 25 hectares of protected forest, exotic plants, and indigenous New Zealand flora. The garden is a living testament to the country's horticultural heritage, where one can get lost in the enchanting begonia house or marvel at the vibrant hues of the Lady Norwood Rose Garden. A stone's throw away lies Zelandia Eco Sanctuary, a groundbreaking conservation project that takes you back in time to pre-human New Zealand. Here, the air is filled with the songs of rare bird species, like the melodious tui and the quirky kaka, as they flit among ancient ferns and towering kahikatea trees. Zelandia is more than just a park, it's a window into an ancient world that has been painstakingly preserved and restored. Not far from Zelandia, we find Otari Wilton's Bush, the only public botanic garden in New Zealand dedicated solely to native plants. This unique space features an impressive canopy walkway, allowing visitors to stroll among the treetops and observe the rich biodiversity of the forest from a bird's eye view. And let's not forget the breathtaking vistas from Mount Victoria Lookout. Rising high above the city, it offers panoramic views of Wellington's urban landscape juxtaposed against the serene beauty of the harbor and surrounding hills. It's the perfect spot to take a moment, breathe in the fresh air, and bask in the grandeur of nature. Wellington's natural attractions offer a refreshing escape from the city, showcasing New Zealand's diverse ecosystems. Each garden and park tells a unique story of conservation, horticulture, and a deep-seated respect for nature, inviting you to explore, learn, and appreciate the richness of life that thrives within and beyond the city limits.
No visit to Wellington would be complete without indulging in its culinary scene. This vibrant city is not just about the wind, the arts, or the beautiful landscapes. It's also a haven for food lovers, offering a diverse array of gastronomic delights that are sure to satisfy any palate. Here, the coffee culture is thriving and truly unique. Wellingtonians love their coffee, and you can't walk a block without finding a cafe brewing up something special. There's Fidel's on Cuba Street, a city institution that serves up strong, flavorful cups, and Mojo, a homegrown coffee empire with branches all over the city. You'll find that each cafe has its own character, its own story, and its own irresistible aroma wafting through the air. And then there are the food markets, where the city's culinary diversity really comes to life. The Wellington Night Market, for example, is a bustling hive of activity, with vendors selling everything from handmade dumplings to artisanal chocolates. Meanwhile, the Harborside Market is a Sunday staple, offering fresh produce, gourmet food stalls, and even live music. But Wellington's food and wine scene isn't confined to the city. Just over the hills in the Wairarapa region, you'll find world-class vineyards producing stellar Pinot Noir and Sauvignon Blanc. These wines are the perfect accompaniment to the region's farm-to-table dining offerings, where the focus is on fresh, local ingredients. From farm-to-table dining to award-winning wines, Wellington offers a feast for the senses. As we come to the end of our journey, it's clear why Wellington captivates so many. The city's charm is as multifaceted as a diamond, sparkling with culture in its museums and galleries, flourishing with nature in its gardens and parks, and tantalizing taste buds with its extraordinary food and wine scene. Each facet of Wellington contributes to a unique allure that's hard to resist. Whether you're a geography student or simply a curious traveler, Wellington offers a rich tapestry of experiences that reveal the heart of New Zealand.